Hello and welcome to How Did They Do That? The show where we pick out a small detail, effect or interesting moment from a game and break down exactly how the game's developer achieved it. In today's episode we will be looking at pre-rendered backgrounds in games like Resident Evil, Final Fantasy 7 and Ocarina of Time. This effect helped older games on fairly basic hardware achieve much higher fidelity graphics than traditionally real-time rendered environments. But how exactly does that work? Well, this process consists of three main parts. Firstly, the environment itself. The actual visual look of the background couldn't be rendered on the fly due to hardware limitations. As such, they would be pre-rendered. This means they were created inside a 3D modeling program. After the environment was modelled, textured and lit, the artist would decide where in the scene the game's camera would sit. After this, they could render out the environment into different sections, splitting it up into what should appear in front and behind the player. The second step is to create very simple collision geometry. In short, this is what you as the player will bump into to stop you falling out of the level. Lastly, they piece these two parts together inside the game. As long as the camera inside the game engine matches that of the 3D modeling program, the effect is seamless and everything lines up. The characters appear to be inside the higher quality environment. I think the easiest way to think of it is as a stage play. In our case, starring Link, Cloud and Jill. From the audience's perspective, they are skipping through the Paris streets, but take away that facade and it's just blocks they need to navigate around and props to interact with. Replace the audience with the fixed camera, the stage pieces with pre-rendered images and the blocks as collision and there you have it. This effect, for better or worse, is rarely used these days. As our hardware can render scenes in real time the developers of the 90s could only dream of. However, it's a shining example of how a limitation can not only be conquered but can actually positively influence gameplay. More so in Resident Evil, where the fixed camera angles added a Hollywood feel and helped build tension. In fact, many people argue that moving away from this has caused a decline in the series' ability to scare. And that about wraps it up for today. Is there an effect or detail you've seen in a game that's had you wondering, how did they do that? If so, be sure to leave it in the comments below and we may just cover it. Thanks for watching, ta-ra! That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Barry, thanks for saving my life.